I was having a horrifying dream, possibly the most disturbing nightmare of my life. I was in my house, or the closest thing to my house that my dream could produce. Ironically enough, I was in bed in this dream, or at least I can only start remembering past the point of my lying in bed, and all of a sudden, the sound came from downstairs. I walked downstairs in the dark, not turning on any lights, to where I thought the sound was coming from. I was on my middle floor now. The dream was telling me to go downstairs to my laundry room, and so I did. But as I got there, expecting the noise to be louder and closer, it sounded like it was just as far as before. Now I was going upstairs to the kitchen, and it's strange, outside of every window was complete blackness, not general nighttime darkness. There was nothingness. I think all that existed in this dream was my house. Now my dream started to suggest that the banging sounds were coming from upstairs, so I went back upstairs and was eventually led to the attic door. It was surely beyond that door. I opened it. There was an old woman standing by a bunch of boxes. She was slowly but loudly slamming her hand on one of the boxes, producing an unnatural sound. I tried to quietly step back away from the attic, but the old woman turned around, opened her mouth twice as wide as anyone humanly could, reached out her arms, began to scream, and leap toward me. That's when I woke up. I thought it was just a horrific dream, but when I heard a bang coming from downstairs, a bang similar to what I heard in my dream, I felt my heart completely drop. On my way downstairs, there was another bang. It was the front door. I got the butcher knife from my knife holder in the kitchen and crouched behind the door. I was waiting for the next time he would pound on the door and I would warn him to go away. I waited for a good minute in silence and finally decided to take a quick look through the window. There was somebody standing in my driveway. I couldn't tell if he was facing me or looking at me or not, but he was surely the one who was pounding on my door at four in the morning. He walked away down the sidewalk moments after he must have noticed me. The pounding on my door was the kind of pounding you would expect from someone trying to break in a door, not to get a house owner's attention. I thought it was just crazy and horrifying that the pounding and banging from this potential robber or killer didn't wake me up, rather became the key point to a horrifying dream 